we start YouTube. Quick video. Uh, because <laughs> I took a little traction off and then I did a little burnout right here. And then every burner has a, a, a consequence. So what happens uh, because of the accident, I already replaced the radiator support by the way. Uh, the radiator support pushed in the whole uh, the whole front little um, radiator support on assembly. And then this power steering pump house, hoses, this is the one goes for, from the reserver to the radiator. And I was crying and sweating for like an hour, could not remove it. Why? Because these little hoses right here, they have this little plastic. This little plastic, all they have to do is push it in, push that one in, and then the whole the hose comes off. Well, on the top one, the one it was slight, so it has a little crack. Uh, the little plastic top or the plastic remover was off, was broken, was broken. So I was, damn, I was sweating like a pig. I could not get it off. So, first thing you want to do, this is my first band dollar, so I did not know anything. So, if you own one, any 3 the E46, you're first gonna start by removing your headlight. Two 10 millimeters, I mean eight millimeters here. One here, one here. There's two more in the bottom that holds this one here and this one here. You're gonna unplug the connecting plugs right here. The ones that go here for the headlights, those right here, they're just gonna be, hey, where's my light? There's gonna be three plugs, which is gonna be right here, right there. Unplug the headlight, you're gonna, you're gonna push it off, you can completely remove it, but I think the bumper is gonna be in your way, so you're gonna push it out, and then from here you're gonna have some clear view. From the hoses on the connector which is right here you can see right there well if this happens to you and then the, the little uh, plastic remover or the little plastic thing is off or broken you're gonna have to get I have the full set which is this this is how it comes fuel lines AC and I guess now power steering lines Full kit remover so this is how it comes it's for Ford Chevy for fuel fuel there on the uh, Fords of uh, when okay so how I did this I use the green one I use the green one I stick it in here you put them in there push it against the hose and you wiggle or you, or you turn the hose till you can release it because um, if you have this one right here that's a plastic came that came out from the top one if you have that one right there they sell special tool is some type of little square which holds the, the the end of it and the the front right here it's so like square holds that position and it automatically pushes this one in and that's how you just push the hose off Anyways, this is the hose. Look at all the cracks it has. It's all dry and stuff. It's, it's good as trash. And those are the little tabs they're supposed to push. You're supposed to get. See those little things? That's how it goes. And this is how it works. This one goes in here. And this one, where it does, it pushes the little tabs, the little holders. You see? Goes all the way in. So it opens it, and that's how you can remove the hose. So yeah, if your little plastic tab is off, and you don't have the special tool, you can go ahead and go to AutoZone, uh, Power Freight, anything, any place you can buy tools, and buy the full kit you always gonna need it you always need that that tool kit mac tool snap on everybody sells that so yeah that's about it and then the special tool is red i will uh put a little um, 
picture on it right here so you can see it so it's gonna be square it holds the plastic pusher right here on the top brand so what it does it goes on the same time as it pushes it in so there you guys have it there you have it guys on any e46 that's how you remove power steering hoses the one that goes into the radiator